News. Thanks for joining us. We begin this hour with the Democratic effort to take back the White House. With the convention just under three weeks away, all eyes are on Barack Obama as he receives his party's formal nomination. Joining me now, Howard Dean, the chairman of the Democratic National Committee. Governor Dean, good to see you. I want to start before we get to Thanks some uh, good deal. Before we get to some issues, I want to start with something that President Clinton said a couple days ago about the qualifications mm -hmm. of Barack Obama. Let's take a listen. Do you personally have any regrets about what you did campaigning for your wife? But yes, but not the ones you say. And it would be counterproductive for me to talk about. Do I, there are things that I wish I'd urged her to do, things I wish I had said, things I wish I hadn't said. But I am not a racist. I never made a racist comment, and I didn't attack him personally. Well, he also, uh, Governor Dean, talked about uh, Senator Obama's qualifications for president. How did you feel how President Clinton answered that question? Well, I think obviously President, uh, I mean, Senator Obama is qualified to be president. Um, you know, it's very clear. We welcome the support of both President Clinton and Senator Clinton, who is uh, campaigning tomorrow and the next day uh, for uh, Senator Obama. So, I, you know, I, I'm glad that we're glad to have uh, President Clinton aboard. Would you wish he would have answered that question a little differently? No, look, uh, politics is, uh, you know, you wish, 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 and all this stuff. This is nonsense. Um, Barack Obama is going to be a great president. Uh, Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton have been very helpful uh, since the uh, primary campaign is over, and, and I'm very happy, and I appreciate uh, President Clinton's remarks, and I appreciate uh, Senator uh, Clinton's hard work. Uh, and I know that uh, Bill Clinton has agreed that he would uh, campaign uh, for uh, uh, Senator Obama when he comes back to this country, and I think that's great, and I appreciate it. Should Senator Clinton's name be placed in the nomination, what would you like to see? You're, you're going to have a big say that in the convention. Told, I'm not going to have any say whatsoever. That's completely up to Senator Clinton. Senator Clinton, not Senator Obama. That's right. Senator Clinton has okay. the right to be placed in nomination if she chooses to be so. Let's go to the, uh, this offshore drilling debate. Uh, we've seen some reports that have Speaker Pelosi telling some Democratic members of the House caucus, you know what, if you have to split from me on this issue, go ahead. You know, is this not is this a good thing for the Democrats that they basically are not in alignment on this issue? Here's what the bad thing is. The bad thing is John McCain is in the pocket of the oil companies. Uh, he announced his energy in front of a group of cheering oil executives that he, we could drill our way out of this. And that's just plain not true. We can't drill our out of, way out of this. No economist I know thinks we can drill our way out of this. And since John McCain has revealed his energy policy, he's taken a million additional dollars from the oil lobby. Look, this is four more years of George Bush, four more years of George Bush's economic policies, four more years of George Bush's uh, a campaign tactics and ethics, four more years of being in the pocket of the oil companies. We cannot elect another president who's going to behave like George Bush for four years. We just can't do it. But, Governor, what do you say to some Democrats who sit there and they hear Speaker Pelosi saying, look, drilling's not the answer, but then they, there's a wink and a nod to some members of the Democratic caucus who uh, are in some of these rural states who are really, you know, where their constituents are saying, you know what, the cost of gas has gone way up. I think we got to drill more. What kind of message is that sending that's sort of like, okay, on one hand, you, we have principles, on the other hand, we're going to compromise? No, I don't think that's what her message Well, I, her message is, yeah, we have principles. Uh, there are some people on the Republican side who genuinely want to solve this problem. Evidently, none of them are in the United States Senate since they held up energy legislation uh, for election purposes. Uh, but I, I welcome Senator Obama's statement. This is a guy who understands leadership. Uh, John McCain doesn't understand leadership. John McCain is, sub is stubbornly s clinging to Republican orthodoxy. And, and Barack Obama has said, look, if we have to give up some things in order to get something done, we'll do that. That is what a president needs to do. And that's certainly what the next president needs to do. Barack Obama has been consistent through his entire campaign. He has said, I will work with the Republicans to get something done. So far, the Republican uh, candidate has not said that, is not willing to do it, uh, and is, is hewing hard to the right, especially on environmental environmental matters, uh, and again, in the pocket of the oil companies. I think it's very uh, de depressing, frankly, that one side is willing to open, openly work with the other, and the other side is yet to decide they want to work with us. Should this Democratic Congress send a compromise bill to this president's desk when in September? If I thought for a minute that Republicans would send a reasonable, thoughtful compromise bill, which one, had renewable energy so we could actually create jobs. Well, it's and a Democratic it, Congress. Two, had real it's a Democratic Congress. That could send it's this no, bill to the Democratic Congress. Bush. 
Chuck, Chuck, you know very well, it's a Democratic Congress which has been held hostage by 40 Republican senators. We've got too many Republican senators in there to get anything done right now. We need a larger Democratic majority in the Senate, and then we really would be able to have legislation that could go to the President's desk. But Mitch McConnell and the senators filibustered and held up uh, the energy legislation so we couldn't get anything done. Barack Obama has said he wants to get something done. He will give the Republicans some of what they want if they will do something they haven't done for the entire time that they've had any say in the United States Senate, which is be a little bit flexible and think about the American people for a change. That's what this is about, is the American people. We've got to stop uh, having uh, the, letting the ideologues control everything on the Republican Party and get something done. Good deal. Governor Dean, thank you very much for coming on.